click the button and say, yo, what up, man? How's it going? Go on, how are you? I'm well. I'm well, very well. Uh, let's, uh, let's chat about it. Evil Shoji. And obviously, we got set three cards. Hit me with a pitch. Yeah, uh, so, as you might have noticed, I've been playing Shoji since set one, and I've seen the things that he really excels at is throwing nearly exactly three attacks every turn. Mm -hmm. uh, and just putting an absurd amount of damage on everything. Yeah. Uh, so here's a deck that maybe extends that to four attacks every turn. And I found a whole lot of speed in the evil symbol. So maybe just kill people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I, I dig it. Uh, um, it. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, kind of similar to the stain deck we just saw. Uh, I think Shoji probably plays it just a little bit better because of his ability to pick up all the zeros and ability to pick everything up. Honestly, it's a race to 15 for myself is just as much as it is a race to get them to zero. Right, 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 right. Um, this is a neat card. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm looking through. Okay, so the, the what's the goal? What's your what's your what's your want for the deck doctor today? Um, making sure there's not something I missed. Making sure that uh, the package itself looks good. Uh, if I'm too hype on one card, not hype it up on another. Sure. Sort of thing. Oh, excuse me. Um. There's a couple of cards I'm pretty set on, but I doubt there's any much of a problem. As we're looking. Uh, so I'm catching a ride. What's going on with this guy? I, I was looking at it and I thought, um... Uh, Double Blade Slash or another one of my five speed attacks uh, right before Blood Moon Rending was kind of hilarious. Right. Uh, so I just commit, increase it by like three speed, and say, have fun. Makes sense to me. Yeah. That's uh... about it. I would like to try to get a couple of these twos down and probably one of the first ones to go yeah i don't i don't think this card is exceptionally good i think if anything it's like a neat one of it's it's one of those uh those uh uh, uh side out cards you know one of the cards yeah. like you side it out every single game sorry i hit a double yell in this video um <laughs> you set it out every single game but it does not feel terrible to um to, to have in the, the main board at, at, at the first. Uh, let's right. talk about the uh, the cards that we get to add. Uh, first and foremost, uh, Brandish Steel is a million damage in your character. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, it yeah, is I, a lot. Yeah, I realized I was missing that just a moment ago. Yeah, I think it's probably better than whatever uh, Slashing Whirlwind's got going on, although giving this thing plus two damage is kind of cool, right? Um, right. But I think I would rather have the Brandish Steel happen to make them force them to discard an extra card so that my Blood, Rumen, Blood Moon Rending also slams them for 100. Right? Um, <clears throat> thoughts? No, that, yeah, that sounds great. I love it. We're going to put Slashing to a. We're going to put one of the sideboard. Put Slashing to a zero. Let's put Brandish in at one. And then if you wanted to, you could take more, uh, you could take Knife Slice out, uh, not all the way, right? Like put it at a three of, and then just take a, a Brandish and put it up to a two of. Um, it makes your curve a little uh, lower because it's a four diff one to be played second as opposed to a five diff one to be played second. Um, yeah. I think Brandish is fine as a two of regardless. I originally had a, a Whirlwind at a two. Mm, love it. Uh, man, love piercing needle in this deck. Actually, he just in he just instantly fixes the uh, the damage problem with it. That's really good. 
Yeah, and it's the speed that I'm missing, and then it's got the EX if I really get the opportunity. So yeah. Deck uses a, actually a whole lot of momentum, and that's not something I'm quite used to in Shoji. Yeah, Especially unnerving energy is nuts. Yeah. And then nothing to see here is also great. Also, I guess this is not a this isn't a fury like uh, whirlwind is. So technically, the nothing to see here is might be a little worse. Maybe we cut it down to like a two of. Okay. Right, because it doesn't trigger here. It does trigger here. It does trigger here. It does, does, does. No, it doesn't. Doesn't. Yeah, I think honestly, two, maybe even like one might be might be okay if you're trying to make cuts happen. Um, what's the goal with this number? Uh, it's. It however big it needs to be fair min max all the way just i want i am big shoji stand so i want to make this deck just as absolutely as good as it can possibly be if that's a 50 card deck it's a 50 card deck if that's an 80 card deck so freaking be it love it love it uh we're playing for a floater my babies uh mm -hmm. this card is extra damage it helps kill them faster the only issue is is you just have to be careful what you want to lift lift first right these are yeah. weapon cards to clear with blood moon rending and it says everything gets an extra plus one damage imagine plus three plus three as opposed to plus uh two plus two right would you run eight copies of stronger in darkness yes there you go we got eight now can i make it seven <laughs> can you make it seven you want to cut one stronger yeah. darkness Oh, I want to drop a floating. Uh, uh, it, it has the it weapon keyword for a rending. Yeah. Are you down to remove weapon mind. attacks for rending? Yeah. Actually, I am. Okay. Uh, well, let's do it. And to get a little picky about him. Fair. I'm into it. Um, I'm gonna toss catching right down to a what of, and we can talk about it afterwards. Fruits of our labor. Yeah, I had this in the previous version. I felt like I had enough deadlock enhance, like enough deadlock pressure mm -hmm. between the stun three on uh, piercing between um, uh, yeah, Brent. I guess I think pretty much, but uh, knife slice the drain to just a couple of other few things. I just felt like I had enough deadlock. Um, okay. Uh, let's look at our block zones real quick. What's our highs look like? Uh, how you feel about unnerve? How you feel about full on attack mode? Actually, I would rather die than drop those. Actually, okay. Uh, Shoji uh, builds like an absolute monster, and uh, one of the problems I was actually having with him in set two. Is that I would build myself into deadlock, and I was starting to use uh, uh, the Nomu uh, card to to help me get out of it. And I just feel like this does the same thing, but better. Okay. Because I want to help myself out between like ten and fifteen life. Right. Uh, and that that just helps me. Any chance I could win to make it a three of instead of a four of? Yeah. Love it. I think I think that, that three is the right call. I don't think that you actually need four of it, especially with the ability to go and pick it up. And we're just trying to keep this number as low as we can. Or trying to get rid of this number to increase these numbers. Right? Fair enough. Because we got we gotta like this number is very high, but like would you rather cut a full on attack mode or a strong in darkness? An attack mode, I guess. A full, a, attack mode or desperate times? I could drop desperate times to sideboard. Okay. And then put the full on attack mode back. That is a zero diff that you're losing for your uh, slicers. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that then. We'll do that and then we'll put this full on attack mode back to the four. So I, I don't mind a, attack mode at a three. Uh, I, I kind of agree that maybe I don't need it quite it as four. Uh, just... Uh, going any further than three, I definitely would rather get rid of the desperates. Oh, I agree. I, I think I think full on time is great in your deck. I just don't think it's a, like when do you want four of this on your board, right? And if you want it, you're the one character who gets to go get it. 
right? Fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. So I want to put in more mids, and so I have to go find more mids. I will be right back. Okay. Uh, evil foundation, go. We're here, so now I get to, to do this over at this spot. Uh, to find more mids. Uh, this card's cool. Uh, can you not see it? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, it's not like scrolled up or something. Yeah, one second. Boop. Ah, this card's cool. Yeah. Um. Take take some damage. Conflict is a neat one. I like conflict a lot. Uh, this card's incredible. This card is a one-five weapon. Yeah, I had him uh, intimidating in previous versions. Uh, I was just never thrilled with it, but with it being a weapon in the new, with a uh, uh, blood moon, right, makes sense. Clever's neat. Uh, creepy oh, yeah. is good in him. I guess we could play more shock absorptions, but I don't love it. I'm down for uh, what was it? The the six check. I'm down for the weapon. Uh, th yeah, world spectator. Yeah, let's play. Let's play two of this and see see what happens. Right. Um, that puts us up to 2019, 18, 70, uh, 57 cards. I think those are decent enough numbers to a. Uh, to let it rock, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just had yeah, a lot of... And, and, and it's a 1-6, which feels great. Right? Checking a 6 on our Blood Moon rending is like going to feel very, very good. Yeah. Man, this card's going to look so beautiful with the like the, with the moon in the background. <laughs> and like the, the stuff, man. This card's going to look so yeah, good. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm really excited for this deck. the The poke game is really good. Just throw in a uh, double blade slash into a brandish, uh, and then uh, you can basically just play blood moon rending every turn you want. Like I'm picturing knife slice, ignited arrow, blood moon rending, like or even ignited arrow to pick up a rending. Like, yeah, yeah. Pay four to go find two attacks is going to be very very good exchange rate. Yeah. Right? Because like this is going to be a too high for 6 minimum. Too high for 7 probably with stronger slash floating. And then like just mm -hmm. go find a thing. And this card fills your discard pile to make it happen. You could even like play this at a 3 of and feel fine. Right? Depending on, on if Piercing Needle isn't getting you there. You just play 4 Ignited Arrows and be like, I'm going to fill my discard pile and go find my stuff. Hey man, I'll go find a Dropkick Slicer. That's fine. That's That's tight. I'm down for that. Yeah, I think you should test needle first. I think you should test needle, and and then if it's not if it's not pulling its weight, if it's if you're not getting a, a, a if you're not getting everything off this card that you want it to, just toss in the ignited arrows and and see how how it works. Um, what else? How do you feel about shock absorption as a card? That was kind of a late addition. I'm not thrilled with it. I just I felt like I needed the. Like, I went a little too far off the deep end of, like, all right, let's just kill them. And then I was like, wait a minute, maybe I should actually, like, block one big attack or something. Yuck, I guess. <laughs> uh, and that's the only reason shock absorption's in there. Just, oh, my, my oh shit button. Fair. Totally fair. Um, is this a mid? It's a low. Can I trade out uh, catching a ride for bench press? Because it's cool. And it's got your face on it? Yeah. Yeah. Tight. I dig it. Yeah, I was trying to find space for that card. I wasn't thrilled with anything I saw, but that works. It's just it one damage on here, absolutely every attack. Absolutely. It says you now have nine copies of Stronger Darkness. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess eight copies now because we took out one floating. 
you know. Yeah. Do you think intimidating presence is a better off in slot for shock absorption? Intimidating presence. Intimidating presence. The weapon minus one speed wall, everything's while oh, it's in the club. Uh hmm, maybe? It probably synergizes with the deck a little little tighter than shock absorption, but like shock, shock absorption is a no shit button, whereas intimidating presence is not. Intimidating presence has an action ability on it, right? Of while it's in the card pool, do a thing, as yeah. opposed to, um, as opposed to uh the other one, which is like it stays in the stage and like wants to be in the stage. Intimidating presence after rival readies one or more foundations due to their effect, flip them. I don't know what that's a disruption card. I don't know what set two looks like or set three looks like. Uh, but like you're not readying any foundations, and so like this card would be dead against your deck. Right? All yeah. it does is just fuel this and sometimes it, ignore progressive difficulty. Because right? that's what the minus one speed says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 In all honesty, like if you're if you're looking for like uh, to increase to blow this number, I could even see like playing a couple more shock absorptions and feeling comfortable sitting behind it. And waiting for that that oh shit. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. Hmm. Any last minute thoughts? No. Yeah, this no, one, I... this deck was easy because we just watched the stain one, right? Like it's and it's, yeah. it's very very similar to what's going on stain wise. Um, yeah. But you just like came to me already with the slicer in, right? Um, you already came to me with like literally everything that I suggested. Yeah. 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 I dig it. No. Yeah, this is this is the deck that I uh, mentioned to you last week about being an interesting show cheap at all. Yeah, it's cool. I, I really like it. I think. I think. Blood Moon Rending Shoji is going to put in some work. I think it's going to hit like an absolute, absolute truck. I mean, people were playing Staff Strike, and this has got to be better than that. Correct. <laughs> Especially in set three. Staff Strike's not a card. <laughs> All right, man. Well, yeah. uh, I didn't change it uh, too terribly much, but I think I think there's there's enough in here for it to count. Uh, I, I, think, I think it's going to be just a smidge more consistent, you know? I am a little nervous about this number being a little low for this account number, this attack count for us being able to pick stuff up, but we'll just have to see, you know? If necessary, just you like... You could get me higher? Uh, I could easily see that you wanted to play like a 5960 card deck with the 19 attacks because you can go pay the health to go pick it up, right? Yeah. And this means that you're going to be checking more threes, which means like you have to be able to build more. Um. You'll check threes. You'll check threes more consistently because you're you'll have the higher ratio. Okay. Is there any zeros that you would put in to inflate that a little bit? Like I think we got most of them, but like upping the count. Um, I mean, <laughs> fair. Uh, let me let me go look. Let me go look. Uh, you already have the four rooftops. Yes. Um, four quick to act. Yes. We did take out two of the high block. Yes. Right? If you wanted to put the one more box in, and then I've got surviving the final on the sideboard for minus one speed, depending on how you feel about that, or the uh, desperate times could also be there. Also higher. Mm hmm. Yeah. So your choice is desperate times or um, surviving. And then one more floating. I'm a little higher on desperate times than okay. a lot of people, I guess. Uh, it, surprisingly, it actually sir, saved me from Tokoyami a couple of times. Yeah, this card's tight. This card's super, yeah. super sick. Yeah, just put them short of actually killing me. Right, 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 right. Alright man. Well uh this is a good looking deck. 
this is super super good. I'm glad I could I'm glad I could help. If you feel like you're not finding enough attacks, all you gotta do is just take uh take those three cards back out and then see how it feels, right? Right, start with a one floating and then the double desperate and then see what happens, you know? Alright, sounds good. Hell yeah, man. Alright, you have a great night, okay? Alright. Peace.